In this video, we're going to show you how to make sure that your weld pressure as well as your clutch pressure regulators are working properly. First, we're going to need to go into our control screen. We are going to set both our clutch pressure and our weld pressure at zero. First, we're going to check our weld pressure. What we're going to need to do is make sure that our weld roller is in the down position. We're going to go back into our controls, make sure it's still set at zero, and we're going to proceed by just lifting up on the weld roller here. Now, there should be little to no resistance as far as your downward pressure on your weld roller after setting this to zero. Next, we're going to want to increase this to any number between 10 and 20. After that, you're going to hit enter, and you should hear your regulator actuate in your head carriage. We're going to proceed to come back over here and this should give you a little bit more resistance the higher we go as far as our weld pressure. We can set this at 50 and again as you're lifting up right now it's very hard to lift up which is good that's exactly what you want to see. Now go back in our controls on our weld pressure and hit zero hit enter you're going to hear the air bleed out of the carriage and we're back to little or no resistance as far as that goes so as of right now everything is working properly now we're going to do something similar with our clutch pressure regulator to check that and what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure that our weld roller is up we're going to go back into our controls we're going to set our clutch pressure to zero and when you do that you should get little to no resistance on your weld roller just like we were checking the weld pressure we're going to go up gradually so I'm going to set this at 20 I have a little bit more resistance which is a good sign we're going to go up to 50 and again the higher that you go you're going to be able to hear it actuate inside the head carriage and again, we're gonna check it over here. Now we got, it's a little bit more tough to spin here. Then let's go back to zero. You're gonna be able to hear that bleed out a little bit. And now we have little to no clutch pressure there. And if issues are still occurring, please visit www.weldmaster.com or call into our office at 330-833-6739 for additional support or to schedule a service visit with one of our highly qualified service technicians. And again, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for choosing Miller Weld Master for all of your welding needs.